In this video, we're going to be taking a look at radiation, or light, as both a wave and a particle. This distance here is called the wavelength, and its symbol is the Greek letter lambda. Wavelength is the distance from crest to crest, or from trough to trough. In fact, it can be the distance between any two consecutive points on the wave. The wavelength is usually measured in meters. When we talk about waves, one thing we describe is the frequency. We use the word frequency um, just like we do in regular everyday life. It describes how often something happens. Let's use this chicken to help us understand frequency with respect to waves. Now everyone knows that during the winter, chickens fly down from Canada to Florida. And sometimes, they even land in the water. Now if a wave comes by, you know that this chicken doesn't travel along with the wave. Rather, it bobs up and down. How many times this chicken bobs up and down per second? That's the frequency. Since frequency is pretty tough, uh, maybe I'll give you another example. Let's say you're sitting on the beach, and you are watching waves out in the water and there was a dock, and you watched or counted how many waves passed that dock each second. Well, how many waves passed that dock each second, that's also frequency. So you can think about frequency a couple of ways. Frequency is the number of peaks passing a certain point in a given amount of time. It's usually measured in hertz. The symbol for hertz is hz, and it's how many times per second. How many waves per second? When we talk about waves, we also want to know the speed at which the wave is moving. Now you know that we're talking about light waves or radiation, so you probably remember that all electromagnetic radiation travels at the speed of light. It doesn't matter if it's red light or blue light, x-rays, gamma rays or radio waves, they all travel at the speed of light. And that speed is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Now you're going to want to remember this number because we'll be using it in calculation shortly. Let's look at light as a particle. Light as a particle is sometimes called a photon. It's difficult to define and understand, but it's kind of like a stream of tiny little packets or, or dots of energy. Maybe the best way we can illustrate that is just kind of little bursts or discrete units of, of energy or light traveling through space. 